continue to talk about your health this morning in a serious condition in the spotlight after Oprah Winfrey revealed she was recently very sick with pneumonia. Oprah is now encouraging everybody to get your recommended vaccinations and listen to your body. But what does that mean exactly? Because not all types of pneumonia are life-threatening. So how do you tell the difference? So joining us right now to try to help out and recognize some signs and symptoms is Dr. John Dooley. Dr. Dooley, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, first up, what should we be looking for that might uh, separate pneumonia from a more common ailment? Well, pneumonia is a pretty serious infection, or at least it can be. Uh, what differentiates it from a common cold or a, a chest cold uh, is typically high fever. Uh, people often feel uh, un very unwell, uh, may have trouble breathing in addition to the cough and other usual respiratory symptoms. And there are different types of pneumonia that uh, we learned when this Oprah story came out. Uh, and that's, that's where you guys come in as far as the doctors, I guess. But what are the ranges, I guess, as far as how pneumonia could affect us? Well, there are cases of uh, milder forms of pneumonia. Sometimes people call it a walking pneumonia, where people may still feel relatively well and, and still going to work or school, uh, with, uh, but with the fever and the cough. Uh, and that ranges all the way up to very severe forms of pneumonia that have people in the hospital or an intensive care unit. Uh, it can get quite bad. As far as any preventative measures that we can take, I, I mean, are there uh, vaccines that we should take that could help with pneumonia? Is there anything else that we can do in a preventative manner? Right. So there are two main vaccines, I would say. One would be the flu shot, and so influenza itself can cause pneumonia. Uh, well, the virus itself can cause a viral pneumonia, and uh, there are cases where people develop a bacterial pneumonia in the aftermath of influenza. So preventing the flu to begin with is, is very important. There's also a vaccine called the, uh, the pneumococcal vaccine, which protects against the most common uh, bacterial form of pneumonia called the pneumococcus, and that vaccine is recommended to all adults uh, 65 and older, and in addition to uh, even younger uh, people who have certain vulnerabilities, such as asthma or chronic lung disease of other sorts. Well, since we're talking uh, vulnerabilities and we're talking age ranges, is, is there any particular uh, subset that might be more at risk to pneumonia? Um, it's older patients are more likely to contract pneumonia, although it can really happen at any age. Um, I've diagnosed people you know, in their teens or early 20s with pneumonia. Uh, sometimes it's just bad luck, but certainly as people get older and have other uh, comorbid illnesses that are more likely to get pneumonia. Mm. And as far as just overall advice you could give people, is, is there anything to differentiate what we can do to protect ourselves as opposed to just what we would do to protect ourselves from the common cold or flu? Uh, well, again, there's the pneumovax vaccine for those who are at higher risk. Um, and But uh, you know, pneumonia, like a lot of infectious diseases, is something that we're is somewhat uh, uh, subject to as we carry on our daily life. Uh, you know, it's a contagious thing, and so if uh, we're in close proximity to people who are sick, uh, it's helpful if they cover their uh, mouths and noses when they cough and sneeze, and it's uh, good to wash our hands a lot and try to keep the germs off. All right, Dr. Dooley joining us from Northwest D.C. today. Hey, thanks for your time. We do appreciate it. Uh, thanks very much. We've got to take care of ourselves, make sure that we do not get sick, Tucker, especially as the seasons change along with everything else. Wash those hands, right, Steve?